All right, so this is gamma. In the last video, we talked about you know just building the uh, the outline and the storyline of our lead magnet. Now we're gonna bring this thing to life. So you're gonna go to gamma.app, gamma.app, and sign up for an account. It's like, I, there's probably a free trial. It's like 12 bucks a month. I use this thing all the time, as you can see. It's pretty awesome. And we're just gonna go to create new AI. Now, there are a couple different things you can do here. You can just paste in the text. You can generate from your ideas, um, or you can import a file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the GPT, and I'm just gonna be lazy. I'm gonna copy and paste all the stuff in here, okay? We went a little far. All the stuff in here, just copy, and go back over to Gamma, gonna plain, uh, paste in plain text, bam. And then you have um, three options here. You can do a presentation, like a you know slide deck or whatever. You can turn it into a web page. I like turning it into a document, and I think you guys should start out by turning this into a document. So we're gonna hit continue. Okay, and then here are the settings that I use. So number one, you can, if you generate it on the fly, that would mean that you just come here and you put in your whatever. Um, condense means whatever I pasted in, you can condense it, you know, gamma. Let's keep in preserve, okay? The reason I want you to keep preserve in is because the GPT that we made follows a very um, proven uh, uh, process, a formula. And so let's just keep what that made. So we, we keep preserve and then we do want it to generate AI images and then we just let it format it as it would and we hit continue. And then it's gonna ask us for the format we want. So it's gonna give us a suggestion. Sometimes it does give suggestions that are very dark and bold. Personally, I like the more light tones and things like this. So we're gonna go ahead and hit generate. All right, now, what this is going to do is pretty impressive. You guys are going to see that outline that we just create jump into life. It's pretty amazing. It's happening right now before your eyes, okay? Um, a lot of the work is actually going to be done for you, but there are some best practices that we want to talk about right now because um, when you do marketing, sales, uh, education, when you do it right, you learn one very important theme, which is show beats tell, okay? And there are some very important things that we wanna do here to really bring this thing to life. Now, you should think about this phase of the, of the lead magnet as your way of, of, of aggregating, collecting visual assets that you already have. So maybe that could mean that could mean pictures of ads that you use. That could mean uh, anything visual. It could be a demonstration that you've done before, whatever it is. So it's giving us some cool ones here. There's Sarah. She looks very lovely. All right. So here's what we're going to do. So it it put into the system exactly what we wanted. All right. So this is fine. Let's say though that we wanted to. Now it's got a backdrop. I'm not going to do anything with this one. All right, but let's say here's one that I'm like, okay, well, the problem with the um, this slide personally to me is it's a bit much. So I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to add an image. Okay, and it's visualizing, so it's putting um, pictures of Sarah in here. So there's Sarah, she's feeling frustrated. Now I'm going to say, okay, meet Dr. Sarah, a skilled chiropractor who's passionate despite running Facebook ads. So I'm gonna just make this a bit, I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna condense the text. All right, and we're going to see, which, which some of this is just personal preference. I'm just showing you how to use this tool um, for demonstration, I'm gonna do it again here. All right. And then just like that, we're making, you know, in copywriting, we always say, don't say in 10 words what you can say in five. And sometimes that's hard to know how to do if you're, you know, if you can just click a button and it'll tell you how to do it, that's awesome. All right, so we added an image, we added whatever. Now, if you go to this image right here, you can click edit, all right? And you can put in a prompt if you are like, hey, this is good. Or you can see what else, what other options it has available for you. Uh, 
it made some ads, I think. That, we're going to go check that out here in a second. Um, or you can also go to um, AI images. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, image upload. So if you want to just put in an image yourself, you can just click that, drag it over, and it'll be become a part of the guide. So let's go to the next one. Okay. And I want to just show you the features that I use mostly when I'm doing this. Um, this one is good. So I don't think I would do anything different. Why? Because I like that it kind of broke out these key points the way the GPT did. But let's say we go to this one here. Okay. This one is uh, boring. So I'm going to go and use this cool thing, which is make this more visual. I like this feature. Okay. Um, simply because again, what a boring page just, you know, to just have, um, a block of text there. You should always, whenever thing is, when it's too much words, break it up. And this is just layering some cool stuff. All right. So those are the features that I use the most. Let's jump down to here. Uh, how Dr. Sarah optimized her Facebook ads. Look at that. It's got like images of actual ads that are in here. What's that is amazing. Uh, I didn't know it could make that kind of stuff, but look at that. You guys, how cool is that? Those are really, those are really good. So that's really cool. Uh, okay. So then we have the conclusion. Okay. There you go. Now, one thing that this didn't really do is it didn't give a final call to action. And sometimes it's not going to do that. You can actually use, um, uh, you can use uh, the GPT to say, create a final call to action for me. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to go to, let's see here. Oh, I got to get rid of that. And then I'm going to go to add a button. And I'm just going to, this is a subtle call to action. And I would put my www.demo with, uh, with sam.com, right? And then I'd be... Um, install Sarah's system now, something like that, right? And I'll center it up in the button. So basically I have, okay, it wants me to verify that that in fact is a thing. So basically I have a call to action at the very bottom of the lead magnet. And you guys, in less than 10 minutes on both of these, so an aggregate of maybe 20 minutes, maybe, we have a lead magnet that looks amazing, that follows a proven process, and that with a little bit of time from you, I mean, if you spend some time on just taking this and, and making it a little bit better, you can get people to download this thing as a value-first approach and then opt in to a demo call, to a free trial, whatever you're going to do. Now, the next step for this, where things really get fun is how to make this lead magnet light up your business. So the next step to taking this lead magnet and turning it into an asset that will get you a bunch of leads, an asset that will get you a bunch of customers, that, my friends, is on the next video.